Greetings, spooky grave digger. Here is the magical blade. <gasps> Incredible. Now, let me attach the proper hilt like so. <gasps> there. Fits like a glove. Now take this soul killer sword and kill ghosts with it. Its special power will release their bones of the dead. Killing ghosts is right up my alley. Then go forth and kill that which is already dead. Spelunker. Please enter the cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me.
Greetings, Spelunker! Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! A haunted forest crystal! <laughs> Just what I wanted! See you at the next cave! That's a mighty fine looking mating stone. Greetings, nondescript men. I figured out your wooden box puzzle. Great. Where is box now? Ha-ha. <laughs> Being digested inside the belly of a mighty termite. But I wanted to keep the box. It was magical, you know? It sure was. Gr My poor wooden box is... Gone forever! <laughs> Glad to be of service, citizen.
I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move. I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move.
I think I need to use the lever. I think I. I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move. I I think I. I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move. I can't com- I think I need to use the lever to make these gears move. I think I need to use the I think I think I need to Why is it you never seem to have a key to open a treasure chest when you need one? Greetings, spectral thing. Despank, you are the hero we have been waiting for. Yes, I get that a lot. A hero will deliver them from evil. So it has been written. I need your help, Despank, to let the souls of this tragic town rest. And by rest, I mean destroyed. You must find the lost pieces of the town sigil to enrage the townspeople's spirits. Direct and to the point. That's my kind of funeral service. The first sigil may be found within the haunted forest in a crypt arch to the west. The second sigil may be found in a crypt arch to the south. The third sigil may be found in a crypt arch to the east. As long as we don't 
Bond. Gee willikers! Greetings, spooky grave digger. Here are the bones of the dead you requested. Impressive. Thank you for all your help. Greetings, courier. Oh, God. Cramping. Sides. Please. I'm not going to meet my delivery deadline. Leave it to me, lazy courier. Great. I have one package for the wizard. Oh, down the lane. And another package for the farmer, Strunken McClure. I'll just wait here. Catch my breath.
Greetings, Wizard of Magic. I have a courier package for you. Finally, my Eye of Newt has arrived. Greetings, Wizard of Magic. Oh, uh, hello there. Sorry, I'm very upset right now. Then use your wizardly ways to cast a spell of happiness. Oof, I've already tried that twice this morning. But my wand just wasn't into it. You see, I was living with the Witch of the Haunted Forest, and we had a really nice mansion. Then we split up, and she kicked me out. Oh, the stinking hobby. She won't even give me my chiseled recipe back. I will reclaim your chiseled recipe, sad wizard bachelor.
Hello, man off the beaten path. Those damn dorks of on prong stole my pet, Blinky. Blinky wouldn't happen to be a blinker. Aye, the orcs are doing something odd with blinkers in that camp of theirs. I'll go get Blinky back for you. Because that's undowntroddening if I ever heard it. Oh, my God. 
Man off the beaten path, I have good news and bad news about Blinky, uh, but mostly bad news. Unfortunately, uh, Blinky tried to bite me, and then this thing happened with my sword, And uh, but now isn't the time for blame. It's a time to come together and remember Blinky and the joy he brought us all. Uh, here are his tags. Oh, oh! <laughs>
all grapes of wrath, farmer. Well, howdy, neighbor. The name's Strunken McClure. I see you have an orphan. He's mine. I found him fair and square. Why, he's the only friend I don't have left. Ever since the missus decided she ain't want nothing to do with me. You seem like a good guy. Why would your wife leave you? I'm a... Oh, she nuttier than a peanut farm. She'll holler at me over the darndest things. Like this one time, all I did was leave the lid off the toothpaste. And she just went all hysterical-like and hit me with a shovel. I have a courier package for you. Sweet! My order of chiseled manure is here. Are you aware that your odor is particularly unpleasant? It's probably my amazing miracle manure that you're smelling. Oh, the miracle is that I'm still standing. It may smell something awful, but it sure done grow some amazing produce. Is that manure in your hair? Sure is. My amazing manure also stops hair loss. But you don't show any signs of male pattern baldness. Exactly. Putting manure on my head has given me back my dignity. If you want, then you now that See you around, Strunken McClure. Hey! Hands off my orphan! woman I don't know. The name's Amma. Amma Applehole. What the heck do you want? I have a package for Amma Applehole. Thanks. I was wondering when that thing was finally gonna show up. Give Sandy a hug and a kiss for me when you see her, all right? <laughs> Not gonna happen. I just saw your husband. He seems like a swell guy. Strunken? I should say not. He's an oversensitive, overbearing jerk. This one time, all I did was put the toilet paper roll on backwards, and he just exploded in a hissy fit of rage. I talked to your husband. What's his face? He says you're a few spoons, short of a soup party. That pig! I'll never speak to him again! Your lemon orchard is most impressive, madam. Don't look at me, it's my husband's! I want nothing to do with it! Your husband grows a fine crop indeed. Well, he better. He loves these damn things more than me! Surely that can't be the case. He once missed my birthday because he was reading bedtime stories to the trees! That's a very strange looking pet you have. Haven't you ever seen a dog before? Not from the outside. <laughs> He's so well behaved and dependable. And he doesn't mess on the carpet either. Completely unlike that rat husband of mine. Have you noticed your dog is glowing? He's sort of radiant, isn't he? It's not fleas. Have you seen him playing near any leaky atomic bombs or used fallout shelters? Not personally, but who knows what he got up to before he fell from the sky? Your dog fell out of the sky? Sure did. 
I guess you could say it was <laughs> raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <gasps> cats fell too. Surely this is a sign of the apocalypse. Nope, just the one dog. I was trying to be funny. I find your sense of humor to be most disturbing, madam. I'll try talking to your husband, distraught woman. 